สวัสดีครับ and welcome to Phuket Extra brought to you by PVCPhuket.com. I'm Chris Housen filling in for JP Mustanza. Now these are the stories making waves in Phuket for Thursday, April 11th. The mayor of Rawai has urged people not to stray from the trail at Lam k r a t i n g after another group of tourists got lost to the popular Phuket hiking trail. The mayor of Rawai has urged people not to stray from the trail at Lam k r a t i n g after another group of tourists got lost to the popular Phuket hiking trail. Disaster prevention and relief officials received a call from Bang k r a t i n g Hotel on Tuesday evening, saying that a group of tourists had still not returned from the trail. A search was launched, and through GPS location tracking, it was discovered that the party were halfway back from the viewpoint when they became lost. Disaster prevention and relief officers, along with lifeguards, searched the area by foot and found the tourists after searching for about an hour. All were unharmed in the ordeal and safely returned to their hotel. A motorbike convoy through the streets of Phuket town marked the launch of the Wear a Helmet 100% campaign. Now underway by Phuket City Police and provincial disaster officials, the campaign began with a ceremony at Phuket City Police Station that included a helmet giveaway and a confetti send-off for the convoy. Often misunderstood, the 100% expressed in these helmet-wearing campaigns not only refers to wearing a helmet every time you ride; it also refers to fastening the chin strap to ensure the helmet remains on your head during an accident. Police have warned that they will begin enforcing the 100% rule immediately and continue throughout this seven-day safety campaign for the Songkran holidays, which officially kicked off last night at midnight. The governor of Phuket has given officials until Wednesday next week to submit their water management plans to make sure Phuket has enough water for the dry season next year. The order came at Phuket Provincial Hall on Tuesday, describing it as urgently needed to solve the problem. This sudden urgency comes as reports that Bang Wad Reservoir in Katu is now currently only 24% full. Not mentioned in the official report were concerns about Phuket hosting many more tourists next year. The current goal for Thailand is to welcome 36 million tourists in 2024, with the national tourism policy aiming to make Thailand a global aviation hub, handling more than 150 million air travelers annually by 2030. And a local vocational college student has gone viral on TikTok with a video detailing how he accidentally cooked shrimp just by leaving it in a parked motorbike. In the video, the 19-year-old food and nutrition student at Phuket Vocational College explained that he had bought some shrimp in the morning but forgot it in his friend's motorbike as they went to class. When they returned to the bike midday, they found that Phuket's sweltering heat had fully cooked the crustaceans. But of course, not to put good food to waste, the student said he still intended to eat the shrimp regardless. Over the past month, Phuket has experienced extreme daily temperatures ranging from 37 to 39 degrees Celsius, with very little reprieve in the form of rain or cloud cover. That's all for Phuket Extra today. Brought to you by PVCPhuket.com. For more on all these stories and more, please visit thePhuketNews.com. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as 75,000 US dollars, and luxury properties can go all the way up to 20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks-and-mortar investment, offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential. Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property.